Hi, I'm Kelly Karnetsky, website designer with Springs Hosting, and today I'm going to show you how to create a flash intro for your website. In order to create a flash intro, you're going to need to get a computer software program called Adobe Flash. If you do not have it already, you can download a 30-day free trial at adobe.com. It's available for Windows and Mac. So step one, we need to open up Flash. Now that we've got Flash open, we need to go on to step two, and we need to create a new document. Now inside this document, this is where you're going to want to design. You've got a timeline up here that you can do animation with. Now with the timeline, you can do some, you can add video, you can do some animations, and let me show you an example of what I've done. So step three is designing your actual Flash file. Now if you see, I've got a big document. My document is 1200 by 850. And for this, I wanted it to look like the actual website. So I took a screenshot of the website and I put that as a background of my image. Then I needed to add a door opening. So it looks like you're opening up into the website since it was a home's website. So I added a door. So the door is right there, this video of the door. And this video spans all the way across 220 frames. And what happens is it actually opens up into the website. So you can see that it's actually opening in there. Now the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to add something in this yellow box. And I wanted to add another video element just to give it some more animation. So I added another video element of panning around the house. So you can see it just kind of pans around the house. And then once it gets done, it actually launches right to the website. And I just use that with action script. You can easily learn how to do some basic action scripts online. Just search for them in any major search engine. So step four, I need to save my document. So I'd go to File, Save As, and then I'd just save it how I want to save it. Now step five, we need to publish it. In order to publish it, you need to do a couple steps. So we go to File, Publish Settings, and we want to make sure that HTML and Flash is turned on. Now if we don't have HTML turned on, then you don't have the actual code. So once those are both turned on, then just say Publish. Now both those files have been exported, so we've got an HTML, and a Swift file. So step six, we need to test our Flash file. So let's go ahead and take a look. So you can see inside my HTML document that the movie is playing full screen and that it opens up. So you can add extra features using action script or other advanced techniques in animation. Now my final project looks a little bit different, so let's take a look at that. Now as you can see, I used action script to full frame the size. And then I've also centered my image right there in the center so it shows everything. And then I've added a menu over here on the right hand side so people can easily click on to get to the, the website. Then I've also added some extra features and extra links to jump to various pages. You can also use a preloader. You didn't see one because I was on my local machine. But if you were on like a slower connection, a preloader would have popped up that said, hey, it's loading, you know, it's going to take a second. And you can easily create your own in action script, or you can find pre-made ones that are free online. I'm Kelly Karnetsky, website designer with springshosting.com, and you just learned how to create flash intros for a website.